Before beginning setup of your Delta Weld with Intellix Elite, please take a few minutes to review important safety information found in the owner's manual. Remember to follow all warning labels and wear appropriate safety gear during setup and use. Our Delta Weld with Intellix Elite system was designed with aluminum in mind. When welding aluminum, you'll need an Aluma Pro Plus gun or a Pistol Pro Plus gun. On the left side of the machine, insert the power pin into the feeder casting and tighten. Then connect the gun cable to the receptacle on the front of the feeder. Note, when welding with aluminum, be sure to use a contact tip that is marked for use with aluminum, which is identifiable by the AL stamp. Confirm the size of the contact tip for your application. Make sure to install plastic inlet and intermediate guides to optimize feeding conditions. Now let's make sure your wire spool is installed correctly. Select your wire spool hub mounting position and install the wire spool. Moving on to the drive rolls. Make sure to install the proper size U-groove drive rolls. Pull some wire off of the spool and hold the wire. Make sure not to let go of the wire because it may unspool and tangle. Cut off the end of the wire to make sure you're feeding straight wire into your feeder. Then thread the wire into the feeder casting. Check drive rolls for proper tension. The drive roll tension in the gun is set on the side of the gun handle with a screwdriver. Set this knob according to the alloy of wire you are using. For example, if you are using 4943 filler metal, you will use the 4000 series setting. To adjust drive roll pressure, hold the nozzle about 2 inches or 51 millimeters from a non-conductive surface and pull the trigger to feed wire against the surface. Tighten the tension knobs on the feeder so wire does not slip. When adjusted properly, the wire will form a coil. If the tension knobs are over tightened, this can cause feeding problems as well. The wire will feed out erratically if they are too tight. When set properly, the wire will feed out straight. If the wire is restricted from feeding at the contact tip, the wire should slip at the feeder. Adjust the tension nut on the spool hub so the wire is taut when the wire feed stops and does not over spool. Cut off the excess wire to the appropriate stick out and close the drive cover. By following these steps, you will have successfully set yourself up to weld aluminum with the Delta Weld Intellix Elite and Aluma Pro Plus. To learn more about aluminum or our aluminum welding solutions, visit millerwelds.com aluminum.